what's up guys, Justin Morgan here, Carved Up Vegan Muscle, and today I am coming to you with a little bit different kind of video. I try not to get involved in some of the uh, other YouTube channels, I guess, that are, that are around, and I, I don't generally criticize people. I, I usually look more uh, towards people with positive advice and try to, you know, share them, but I, I have to admit, I have been somewhat disappointed by some of Jason Blaha's information. I had a short, um, I left a comment on his, his page today that he responded to, and I was kind of surprised by his response. Um, but he, he was talking about his new diet and um, his weight loss, and, and he was talking about how, um, you know, clearly it's working for him. And that was the comment that really struck me, was that he said, clearly it's working for him. Um, because I, I would kind of dispute that it's really not working for him. It is working for weight loss if weight loss is your only goal, but I could starve someone to death and, you know, they would get weight loss. I could, um, you know, you could put someone on chemotherapy and they would get weight loss. Um, if weight loss is the only goal, then um, really any means would be, would be fine. Um, but my comment was, considering the strength and muscle losses, I would not say that that was working for me personally, I would have guessed you yourself would have advised someone to go slower and try to minimize those losses rather than seeking rip, rapid weight loss. And um, he quickly responded um, within you know a couple minutes, or within one minute, and said, I have other considerations personally. As a professional YouTuber, quick transformations are marketable and very much impact my income potential. And um, that, that, that kind of was really surprising coming uh, from Jason. I think a lot of his subscribers initially over, you know, throughout his days in Ice Cream Fitness and his, um, you know, Juggernaut Fitness TV now um, came to him because he actually provided solid, um, accurate advice that was beneficial. And uh, it kind of sounds from his comments like he's really just trying to get some Mike Chang-ish um, get fit quick scheme so that he can market his YouTube page, and I, I guess I just kind of figure the people that he would draw from um, that type of marketing uh, probably would not be people that are legitimately interested in having a long-term subscriber base and, and viewing his videos in terms of being a strength athlete and all that. They're just not going to be interested in what he has to offer because, um, I don't know, they're just you know, usually people that are, are like that are, are interested in something quick, which is what it is, and, and they're not actually interested in long-term results. Um, so I left the comment in response saying, so providing sound beneficial advice is less important than marketing a get-fit-quit scheme. And, um, you know, I think that describes a lot of the, a lot of the um, people that are on YouTube and people that are out there in the health and fitness uh, world and, and that type of business is that they are less concerned with long-term health, long-term results, and they are much more concerned with something that will um, provide you with a lower number on a scale over the course of a few weeks or a few months and um, whatever ramifications that's going to have to your body and especially if you're an athlete to your performance is less important. Um, so. I guess in terms of me and what I do, I'm, I'm really not concerned with that for myself and I'd like to assume that other people are more concerned with their long-term results and um, especially if you're an athlete, your overall performance goals in the, in the interim. So um, I thought I'd share that with you guys. I uh, hope you're doing well. Leave your comments, criticisms, and uh, whatever else, you know, video ideas or whatever else you have in the comment section below. Appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you soon.